be as big mistake. It's Antonio. Hi, Mia. Hi, babe. Do you have any ideas what you want to do for our date this afternoon? I wanted to talk about that. I'm actually not able to do a date today. What? Why not? I'm busy. Busy doing what? I have to run a few errands. Oh, are you with your mom? No, I'm actually with Riley. Riley. Wait a minute, are you cheating on me? Oh no, of course not. She and I are just running a couple errands, that's all. You're running errands with Riley. That sounds like a date. Errands is something you would do with your mum. What's going on, Antonio? I have to go now, Mia. I'm driving. I'll talk to you about this later. Mia, what's the matter? I'll tell you the matter. Antonio dumped me. What? Antonio? He would never do that. He just did. He said he needed to run some errands, but he's out with Riley, doing it. And it sounds like a date. I think he's cheating on me. Cheating on you? No way. Antonio loves you, honey. He would never do that. The way he talked to me on the phone kinda sounded serious. Maybe you need a break from him, for a little while. But if he really dumped you, he wouldn't come back to our house. I think you need to get your mind off him. How about you help us in the kitchen, you can help me wash some dishes. Well, if it will help. Good job, Mia. Thanks. Whoa. What happened? I accidentally broke a plate. Honey, you gotta hang on tight to a plate so it doesn't slip off your hand and hit the floor. Let me help you guys. It's okay. We'll take it from here. You can stop now. Fine. You coming, Coop? Yep. Where are you guys going? We're going shopping. Can I come? Sorry, Mia. This is the one time you can't come with us. Why not? We can't tell you. See you later, Mia. For God's sakes. Why the frick? Is everybody turning me down today? I feel like a complete outcast. I wish I was never born. I just don't understand, I didn't do anything wrong. Everybody is just not appreciating me today. Hello. Um, hi. May I sit down? Sure. I know why you're sitting out here by yourself, something must have come up at home. No offense. But I really shouldn't be sitting next to a stranger. Oh, don't worry Mia, I'm not a stranger. Ah, uh, how do you know my name? We should go somewhere else to talk, let's go get a drink. I'm not 21. So who exactly are you? 
I'm your guardian angel, my name is Clarice. Guardian angel? That's impossible. I know all about you. I watched you grow from a little girl. What are you, a mind reader? I've heard that you've had some recent problems at home. Well yeah, my boyfriend dumped me today because he was out with my best friend Riley, and it feels like he's cheating on me by dating her. Well, like Antonio said, it wasn't a date, he was out running errands with her. Also your parents turned you down from helping them out in the kitchen, and Keegan, Melody, and Cooper didn't want you to come on their shopping trip. Look, you're really creeping me out, how do you know all of this? I told you, I'm your angel, I know every single thing about you, I know why you were all alone at the park today. I'm having a very miserable life, everything just keeps getting ruined for me. Don't talk that way Mia, I am a second class angel, and I won't get my wings with your low self-esteem, your life is very good. The thing is, you're just having a miserable day. And it's all just starting. Nobody cares about me anymore. I think everybody would feel better off without me. So you're saying you want to run away? Again? <sighs> no. What I'm saying is that I wish I had never been born. Mia Michelle Collins, you shouldn't say things like that. No, I am dead serious. I wish I was never born. Guess I have no choice. Ah, uh, what did you just do? You got your wish, you've never been born. You don't exist. You can't be serious. Oh I am. You have no worries, no life, and no future ahead of you. Oh no. Where's my car? Well, since you were never born, you never got a driver's license, so you have no car. I can't believe you did this. You really are a guardian angel. I warned you Mia, you should be very careful of what you say. I need to see what has happened to my family and friends, you'll have to fly me to our house. I can't fly, I haven't got my wings yet. We'll have to walk. Hey, this must be Rachel's house. Gasp. Why is Antonio and Riley with Rachel and Rebecca? It has been the best summer ever, Antonio. I'm probably going to be looking back to this as one of the best moments. Yeah, I cannot wait until we go to Vion State University in the fall. We're going to be learning great things there. Why is Antonio with Rachel, and why is she out of jail? Antonio, how could you do this to me? Who are you? It's me, Mia. I've never seen you before in my life. Never seen me before? Don't you remember? You and I are a couple. Boyfriend and girlfriend. Hey girl, back up. Antonio is my boyfriend. Riley, don't you remember me? We became best friends at the beginning of our senior year. No, I don't know who you are. And you, Rachel. You're not supposed to be here, you're supposed to be in jail or military school. Look lady, you're scaring all of us. You need to leave right now, or I'm gonna call the police. Hey kids, why don't you come inside now? Dinner is almost ready. Come on guys, let's go inside. This girl is a complete stranger, and she's driving us crazy. Oh gosh Clarice, you scared me. What was that all about? Why did they treat me like garbage? Well, since you were never born, they obviously don't know who you are. So from their points of view, you are a stranger. Antonio has always been with Rachel. Riley has always been friends with her, 
and Rachel has never been sent to military school because she never ripped up your prom ticket. And Rachel's car was always in good condition because you never got into a fender bender with her. Okay, all right. I get it, Clarice. Oh boy. I wonder how different my family is. Well, at least my house still looks the same. Hi, Mum. Mum? Who are you? What? I'm your daughter, Mia. Mia who? Come on, Mum. You can't forget your own daughter, Mia Collins. Something has happened to me, to all of us. You need to let me in. Why? I don't let anybody into our house, unless it's somebody we know. But you do know me, Mia Michelle Collins. I'm the third child in this family. Third child? We stopped having kids after Cooper was born. What? You only have Keegan and Cooper? What about Melody? We don't know any person named Melody. Hey. Cooper, Keegan, Ben. Angela, and Marcus. What are you guys doing in here? Uh, we form a club. It's called the Friends Club. What happened to the treehouse? We had a club in there. Huh? We never had a treehouse. Who are you? I'm your sister, Mia. Mom, Dad. There's some random girl in our house. She's bothering us. Listen young lady, you cannot just barge into people's houses. We really have absolutely no idea who you are, you have to go. I am your daughter, Mia Collins. I am a part of this family. Please, you gotta believe me. Fine, if that's the way you want it. Clarice, please. You gotta tell me what's going on here. Come on Mia, what part of wishing you were never born do you not understand? You were never born, nobody in the whole wide world knows you. Well not only that, there's lots of other things I'm realizing, that's different. Even Melody was never born, why is that? When you made your wish, there were some otherly side effects as well. Your younger sister Melody was never born, your brother's friend Ben never got a girlfriend, and your older sister Keegan was always part of the friends club as well. I want my life back. I don't want it to be like this. Please change everything back to the way it was. Hey, where are you going? I'm not finished with you. What, an idiot? Creased it, I found her. Mia, are you okay? How could I be okay if my life is ruined? What makes you say that? All you did was accidentally break a plate. It was just a little thing. But everything is ruined for me, I have never. Wait, say that again. All you did was break a plate. It's not a big deal. Where have you been sweetheart? We've looked all over the house for you. You have? I thought you never knew who I was. What in the name of Yon City are you talking about?
It's back. Our house is back to normal. Our tree house is back. Mia, how come you were across the street from our house, crying? Has something else come up, besides earlier today? It doesn't matter, what matters is you guys are back. Whoa. Okay then. Well, we're glad you're back, too. Hey, what's all the commotion about? Gigan, Cooper, Melody. Oh wow. What's all this, about? Mia, come sit down on the couch, we have something for you. What? The reason why we didn't want you coming shopping with us today, was because we were going out to get you a birthday present. My birthday was almost a week ago. Yeah, but we didn't have a party, and we were supposed to get you a present last week, but we forgot. Oh, okay. Now I understand. Here you go Mia. We picked this out today at Macy's. I wonder what it is. Open it and see for yourself. Ooh, this is cute, it's a pink handbag, it even matches the color of my clothes. Thank you so much guys, this was very thoughtful. You're welcome Mia. Looks like the whole family is in here. Antonio, Riley. I thought you guys didn't care about me anymore. And you thought wrong, we will always care about you. Hey, on the way to your house. We noticed your car, parked at Starbucks. It said Mia Collins on it, and one of us drove it back to your house. How could you leave it there? It's a long story, but thank you. Me and Riley decided to go out to get you a present, because we missed your birthday last week. Maybe I should wait until tomorrow. No way, you should open it now. Oh my gosh, it's a bracelet. A boyfriend-girlfriend, bracelet. I spent $200 on these, I wanted to get you something special for your 18th birthday. Antonio, thank you so much, I've never even thought of this. Ooh, they fit perfectly. Well, I guess I'm not, having a miserable life after all. What do you mean by that, Mia? And why were you across the street, crying? We want a truthful answer of all this. Absolutely. I'll explain it all. What did I tell her? She has the best life in the whole wide world. Remember guys, never ever, ever, wish you were never born, because you'll never know what will be ahead of you in your lives. Mia's happiness right now and change of mood has finally earned me my wings.